it's Jane. How are you? Uh, I'm up here in the corner just saying hello. I am going on a trip to Japan and I'm very excited about it, obviously. And uh, I've got to pack my art supplies. So I'm going to go through and work it out because this is an audition process and I'm traveling with friends so it's a little bit different um, I'm not traveling on my own so I can't just sit there doing art all day I'm not traveling <laughs> with family who you know like understand my uh, need to draw and paint I'm, I'm with I want to spend as much time with my friend as I can so but of course I'm going to be squeezing in art so I want to pack a really compact uh, art kit so I thought I might, I've, I've done this with you guys before and it helps me when I uh, talk about it out loud and uh, hey Emma hey Pam hey Lorianne oh it's nice to see you Lorianne hey Sandra Sarah how are you going oh it's great to see you. Emma the eagle eyes are working <laughs> now as usual I've got something here which isn't quite, <sighs> I sort of, I try and have a schedule or some sort of organisation for when I'm releasing new products but so often that does not work out just because the world's um, scheduling is a little bit still wackadoodle but also, I, I, look I can march to the beat of my own drum. And the only person I have to listen to in this regards and I'm going to show you something new that I will um, be, it'll be releasing very very shortly uh, but I have to take them and use them in Japan because they're perfect for this trip so uh, yes <laughs> little secret here um, so I could try and hide them from you but I'm not I just I'm not a Heidi kind of person so I'm just I'm, that's just I'm gonna do this so what I've got here um, when I came down to my studio last night I thought okay what is it that I really need to take and I had start off with three things I was doing really well and then it's just exploded so I've really got to bring it down now the thing that surprised me that I grabbed that I really want to take with me is this these are the pigment pebbles um, excuse the paint on my hand I was testing something this is why it's important that everything I have is non-toxic and skin friendly because I test it all on my skin <laughs> and I get it all over myself all the time okay these are the little pigment pebbles and I've made these into a little watercolor set just if you don't know what I'm talking about they're so cute this is the new birth of Venus set so I've added I used to have these in a little round tin but we've added colors so the new colors um, there's five new colors they're all different pinks and purples and that's the pigment pebbles you can just put one of these little oh you know what I might take a pebble with me <gasps> because I'll definitely be buying ink in Japan uh, do I need to buy ink no I do not do I need to add to I have every ink I have 181 Jane Davenport inks, let alone the rest of my collection. But I am in the land of inks, so of course I'm going to get new inks. But if I take a little pigment pebble with me, I can turn it into a glittery, a gleamy ink for so the cherry blossoms. So then it doesn't matter what colour. Hmm? That's a good idea. I have to remember that. How am I going to? I just need a little tiny tin, like cherry blossom colours. Hmm. Okay. I'm glad I thought I'm glad I'm talking about this so I'm talking out loud with you so the um, pebble pigments come in these beautiful little boxes I had such fun creating them there's uh, Venus or Aphrodite the birth of Venus is the name of my favorite painting in the whole world which is uh, by Botticelli during the Renaissance in Florence that's where it is in the Uffizi Museum I've gone and stood weeping in front of it quite a few times <laughs> And in total rapture uh, but these little pigment pebbles you just pop them in they also come with the little shells so that you can make your own watercolor do you need to put the watercolor in the shell no you don't it just 
why not be like Venus and arrive fully formed in your scallop shell? Well, it's not a scallop shell, but in your shell. Hmm? So it surprised me that <laughs> I want to take gleaming watercolours, but I kind of do. I kind of do. So they are on the list. Uh, definitely. And then to make these, you can see one of my other videos, or you can see it on the website anyway. Um, but you just add a little bit of the kind of binder, which is a gum Arabic, and let that soften the little pebble, give it a little stir with a toothpick, and it'll just settle. This one I even left, still got the butterfly form. The first colours that came out, first three sets, were all the shapes of um, um, flowers and butterflies here perfect for oh so I really should take one of those oh, and I need the pinks of the cherry blossom oh, 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 I'll work it out um, okay so that's I think I could even make up a little set where I just have some of these and some normal watercolors I don't know yet um, I really I think I will travel with this this gives me all of my skin tones uh, in layer cake this is the little secret ingredients palette and it's sort of like a miniature sushi roll uh, from the lay cake if you don't know what I'm talking about I know we have our own language here but this is the full-sized example of a full-size lay cake palette and this is the little travel guy um, and then I can mix colors here I'm thinking so it's like having a gouache a set of gouache pastels watercolor those ones but if i'm talking tiny little art supplies this is the art time watercolors watercolors a little anyway so you know why can't i just take my great big set i, I want to be able to carry this in my in a little tiny handbag because we'll be wandering all around so this is going to be too big this would be great for back at the hotel if i was going a bit longer that's euphoria or like my bigger sets but this set here has got all your mixing colors um, it's called the art history set but I've got my skin tones here so I'm good and I uh, okay I'm gonna pop okay but this these colors oh this is my little art time so this is so good if I'm out and about all I have to have is that and one of the mini water brushes. Oh, there's one just here on my table. Where did I put it? Oh, I had it in my hands. Oh, why are you in there? You're not meant to be in there. Why was he? This one was tr trying to climb in there with all the brush ballet. In the Navy, typical. Leave the girls alone. Okay. So, definitely have to take LTQ uh, and the pencil case that I'm going to take is this very well worn, well loved, should really give it a little wash. Um, this is from the um, Making Face, it was a set of four bags, like a big clear bag and three internal bags, so good for pens. Uh, and this is was my initial sample. I might put a little tag on that, to make it cuter. So I'm definitely taking LTQ. I'll just okay. Now these don't need to fit in there, but they could. Okay, so I'll just move them there. Oh, look, I'll do it like that, and that reminds me I've got all those colours. There's no need to panic. Okay. I definitely have to take some white paint pens. The type that you don't shake up won't leak in the plane usually any pen can leak any pen can leak when you're flying especially on a long haul flight uh, but these are going to be much less likely to do that and if they do it'll be a tiny amount this gives me my brush tip oh I was going to take my dottery one but maybe I should take my bullet tip or a brush with fame oh how am I going to leave the house without that Uh, okay, 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 no, no, I'll take that. So now, okay, you go back. These are non-shake. I'll just give it a little test, make sure everything is perfection. So then I've got white paint. 
kitchen. Got my black paint. Done. Okay, and then I need pens, which I'll get, I will get to the new thing in a minute. Um, but first, the journal. So I've got my own journals. I've got uh, other journals that I've made. I've got my journal from my last trips to Japan, but I wanted to do something a bit new. I bought this journal when I was there last time. I love this artist, Haguchi Yuko. And I went to her store in Tokyo. It was a real little trek on a very hot day. I have very good memories of it. And um, I like this cream paper. And it's this temple uh, style. Um, I just, I kind of really love it. The paper, I'm not that sure of yet. I think it'll be fine. It's not, sometimes the temple type books have got quite absorbent paper. And it's a bit too bleedy. But I've done a few little tests and everything seems fine. So this is the front, so you can open it either way. I've started um, just testing pens and stamps and inks and this and that and this is a little sticker set that I picked up that's got each day of April through it so I thought that might be fun if I work chronologically a bit of a new thing for me but I could try okay now I definitely have to take pens so my pen choices are finishing line pens which these are all waterproof black ink super fine to brush always pack some of these they're fantastic for sketching and then I can have watercolor later um, my other choice I don't know if I'm going to be able to leave the home without these is oh okay brush with fame do I need three white paint pens a normal person wouldn't I am going to so these are doctor ink uh, these are the tattoo inks in the doctor ink that I've got here um, I have multiple sets of these. Of course, I've got my set for on my table here that doesn't move. This is my pencil case set, like a mobile set. And I've made another set for when I go and do life drawing because that's a different bag. I know, the craziness is real. But I'm thinking at least I need a black. <gasps> I need navy. I need neon. And I need... Oh, no, I'm going to take II, which is the new... It's like a, a more purple tattoo kink. <gasps> How am I leaving these behind? Okay. Uh, painful. Painful, painful. Okay, then I also need... Oh, that is painful. Okay. Ouch. I need a couple of skinny dips because I like to draw faces. So I'm going to... Celebrity Skin Tan Fastic and Rococo. Oh, shortbread was very nice. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just going to put all of those there. Rococo isn't even there yet. There's an extra black tattoo. Oh, bordello. <gasps> oh, gosh. Okay. <sighs> this is difficult. Okay, so I've also popped here. I need a couple of Tippy Toes pens. This is a gold. And this is a gorgeous little turquoisey blue. Um, if, if I draw eyes and they're a bit dark and I need a little bit of pop of colour in there, this and gold, I just always need gold. So they're just going straight in the bag because we know. We know, we know, we know. Then the new little thing that is coming uh, is the pixel pens. So these are super fine yet very robust little watercolour ink pens. Uh, so there's the Cool Kids set, the Tea set and the Hot Topics set. So these will be coming shortly. I just have to edit the photos, get them up on the website, blah, blah, blah. Otherwise, it's if I'm going to um, put things up on Instagram, I'll be trying to hide the pens the whole time and I can't. So there's three sets. Why have I got all those there? And the reason I've got these packets here is they come in these beautiful little uh, packets rather than a plastic case. Um, these you can reuse. A little plastic case, you're never going to keep them in that. Um, 
I never do. You have them in a little pot or in a pencil case. They're too much of a hassle keeping in those little plastic cases. You just end up not using whatever art supplies in them. So I, obviously I need to be able to get them to people in something. So we're doing, I'm doing the little pa uh, bags, the little paper bags that you can reuse. Okay. And uh, they come with their own business card. <laughs> So there's three sets, 36 colours. Oh, here, if I show them to you like this. It's not really a, a launch thing, but I've, I've got to show you so you know. And I'm really pretty sure that I'll probably end up taking them all. <gasps> Which is, is that crazy or not? I don't know. You just have to do things to make you happy. And they weigh nothing. And you'll, they'll just all fit in my little, that little pouch, I think. I'm going to test that. Let's test it. I'm just getting colours. We can't, we can't have them in not in rainbow. That is just too gross. Now, as with all little things that um, ha need a little top and bottom, they've got the little plastic up here, the colour. Um, they're not going to match the ink exactly. So these on camera, they're all going to look very, very similar. But they're just all different shades of browns and tans and oranges, or oranges, and, and tans and so forth. And then we've got all these pinks and purples. That, the purples are going to look pretty similar, I guess. They're not. Um, but I'll do, uh, when I put them online, I'll have a little video of them all being uh, swatched out. And I'll show you in a second. But I can't move on until I just quickly do this. I'm so sorry. This is my, um, is it debilitating? No, because I'm, I'm very joyful as I do it. <laughs> but yes, it needs to be done. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry, actually. So I'll put the little browns at the end of the yellows so we have all our warm colours together. And I might even put that because that's actually a neon yellow rather than a neon green. And when you get all three sets, I'll be giving you an extra black pixel pen because you will need the black. And I will show you why. They are so good for sketching. I can't even begin to tell you. I haven't done much like urban sketching with them because I just don't do that very often. Um, but I can show you how I've been using them. Just let me. Um, so I've been using them while I've been watching telly mainly, like the 100, uh, physical 100 from Korea, South Korea. So good. And uh, three body problem. This is originally a stamp called uh, Queen of Everything. And... Uh, Oh, Debbie says she needs all of those oranges to do the details for her landscapes. They would be brilliant for that. Brilliant. Brilliant for faces. Brilliant just for anything. So if I just, I'll bring my camera down a little bit more. So this was a little bit of light watercolour, a bit of a flip past it, who cares, page. Um, I think I was showing how to use the stencil. This was a stencil. Oh, it's a stencil. That's what it is. This was a stencil that came out um, a few years ago. Do I have her in here? When I say that, I'm like, I don't think I've seen her for, like, I haven't used that for age. You can't get it now anyway, but um, oh, I might have her in a separate uh, category. Like, I might have moved her out because I just don't have the stencil anymore. But um, I should really redo it. It was a really good stencil. And then I've come in with the pixel pens and added these little tiny details and it's just you even though so it looks quite dimensional there but the sketchiness and again it's that everything's forgiven in a sketch philosophy that I have it's saying I'm not serious I'm just adding a little bit of detail I'm just telling my brain that and it just opens up just more joy uh, I've got just some little uh, lip lines on here because there's lots of nice neutral colours in there. And it be looks, I just can work beautifully over layer cake, which is this, over acrylic, over watercolour, over everything. So yes, you heard me say that, layer cake. Because the tip is very similar, just much finer, 
than Dr. Ink. It's that same type of super smooth, robust nylon. Now, it's not foam, it's not a uh, felt. It is a nice little hard tip. Now, that doesn't mean jab, jab, jab. Um, it means we use a light, quick hand. That's how I tend to use them. They're, they're, they are lightning fast and they are like one pixel wide. They're tiny. I'm just going to grab this colour here. Uh, as you can see, they're not, they haven't got their uh, colour names or anything on them. They're little clean skins. I just don't need it. They're pixel pens. Um, and the whole idea is that they're a really good value as well. Uh, oh my goodness because I just want everyone to sketch and draw it's so good for you it's so good for you and I'm not saying that I mean I'm not obviously a qualified anything but I just I, I know how good it is for me and um, just just even adding those little tiny sketchy sketches then just to me it makes just so much difference it's just it's not just a flip past bloop page I'm I'm working back into things and giving them extra life and extra depth and I mean obviously that this is just the way I'm using them at the moment that will change over time oh I put that in the wrong spot that will change over time the acoustic waves oh so I've got lots of tests in here, but there was something. Oh, this girl. So this is uh, like a lot of my journals. So on here we've got JDHQ 2021, and this is all stickers from washi tapes. So this is JDHQ's Jane Davenport headquarters, which is my uh, exclusive things. And obviously I started this in 2021. So I've got the Neon Ladybug Dotters. This is a washi tape that I was working. This is like a, well, I was printing it out and trying to work out how am I going to add this idea and um, for creating washi tape that had hair in it so you could actually make hair <laughs> with the tape. Um, oh yeah, these, is that the real one there though? Oh good, I came in with the real one, that's cool. But this was again just a little flip past page, just a little sketch, but I've come in with the pixel pens and started to add more depth, more detail and I think I've got a little bit of brush with fame here as well. Um, and it just makes it all more interesting. But they're fabulous just for adding um, little details. So this has got lots and lots and lots of tests in here of uh, things. So uh, this is what happens with my journals. They start off as uh, one thing. This was testing story time inks and then they turn into lots of other things. So this is uh, layer cake here and in fact Oh, I wish I could just roll them and they would all stay in formation, but they've got their little lids. So these, combined with my Dr. Ink colours, um, I've got lots and lots and lots and lots of choice. So I'm just going to scoop them all up. I just want to see if they fit in that pants case. Yay! <gasps> I could take them all! And a few of my Dr. Inks. Look at that. If I have that some shimmer, some layer cake, a little brush. Oh my gosh, I've got like a studio. I've got more things than I could possibly use. And I'll be smiling everywhere. Let me just have a little quick look. Hey, I'm do, they activate with all, yes they are um, a water, um, a water colour ink. The thing with when you're using little like pens, uh, especially fi the finer and finer um, fountain pens, any fine tip. Oh, that's just me setting my alarm. Stop. Um, any fine tip. The way that it, it, it the, uh, the paper absorbs it more, so it's not going to release as much as if you just painted just a, a bit of uh, a swash of colour. 
It's going to change things. It's going to be a little bit different in the way that it works. So there'll, there'll definitely be movement. And in some of those ones that I put before, why does Zozzy have to do the barking like something extraordinary is happening when really it's just nothing? But he's got to do the screeches. I don't know why. There's no answer. Oh, and I need to take a washi tape. But do I take a washi tape to the land of washi tape? I want to take this one with the little people walking on it. Just, it always makes me feel happy. It just always, it never fails to make me feel joyful. That didn't make me feel joyful, and no. I ripped it wrong. Sozzy! Sozzy! Don't do alarm barking when there's nothing there. Is it? Why is he doing alarm barking? Okay. <sighs> Little pixel pens. Oh, that was wet under there. And I just, put, just so I just have to avoid um, Uh, oh, all sitting there for ages. Okay, getting squished in. I just, I can't draw over that for a minute. It's going to bother the page. Um, so I think I might do a little bit of pennage on here. Now you just, if you get a build up, you just wipe it back off and not keep on going. There we go, so she's still good. And I've got pencil on here as well. Mm, that's actually not dark enough. Let's go in a bit darker. But I might also bring in a little bit of um, Dr. Ink. Oh, I do have to remember not to touch those lighter areas just coming in with some super fine lines it might even be hard for you to see but all of these little tiny lines they make they make such a big difference to the artwork in the end oh i think i need purple oh i've got lots of pencil there too actually See, I'm just doing tiny, tiny, tiny little pixel. So a pixel is a cat that I follow on <laughs> Instagram. <laughs> it is a cat that I follow on Instagram. But a pixel is a measurement um, to do with computer screens, as far as I'm aware, what's how I've used it. So one pixel is one little, I think they're even smaller now, I think they're nits or something. Um, appropriate um, but a pixel is like a one little dot on your screen that goes up to make each little uh, movement and here it's hard for me to it's hard for you to see this so let me show you is it in this journal oh look so this again was lots of stamped images and that's what I want to do with this journal is I'm going to go through and put some stamped images through here just so I've got little starting points all through my uh, book. Oh, Brooke's here, just hang on a sec. life happening around me as well so I've got this is all of the stamps from the Halcyon Days collection not might not be all of the stamps but a lot of the stamps and I just uh, this was from a live stream it might be in the Facebook group and um, yeah I just laid all the different just put all the different stamps down and then 
painted it in rainbow. And it, again, it, to me, it was just a bit of a flip past page. Like I love the concept, the idea, the rainbow and all of that. But when I've gone in with my pixel pens, just to tighten up the details, it's just made such a difference. Just giving her a little shadow. Actually, I might use this light grey. She needs a little shadow in her eyes. So this sort of thing for when I'm travelling, it's fabulous because I can just be listening to a podcast or music and it just whiles away the hours because uh, I can't really, I don't, I'm not going to sleep. I'll be too excited. It's too exciting when you're travelling, I find. So when I'm not talking with my friend, I'll be... drawing and adding little details so I thought I'd add a whole bunch of stamps to this little journal and that will give me an indication if the paper is going to be okay for me. Um, I suppose what I could read if the paper isn't I can add watercolour gesso to it and other media to it just to make it more my jam. Uh, or I could always take the paper out and put my own paper in there. But I think this will be fine. So um, we've got rainbows in the pen. Oh, see, this would be lovely to do a little bit of pixel penning too. Um, I, lo I love this little face. And this would just add some little extra gorgeous detail, even adding... Some detail in these this rainbow of stripes oh I've got lay cake here or paint oh very interesting oh to try and I might maybe because sometimes when you're drawing as you would know you just don't hit the right marks straight away. Your drawing refines itself and finds itself as you're going. Just want to add some really little soft touches. I've got some nice soft colours in here. This is a very soft pink. So I didn't really get very far in deciding what I'm taking, did I? I I've still have... I don't know, am I going to take all the colours? Maybe. I think I might. And I can add a little bit of water and soften that as well. So why don't we do that too? And so the little sketchy lines will remain, but this will just soften them a little. I can add some because I love how this little bright pink is just popping out here and there. And I might just add a little bit here, a little bit here. So a lot of the tools that I've developed have been big impact, like layer cake, joyful gesso, inks, watercolour. These are, whoosh, you know, if we use them with a bigger brush, especially you can really stretch out all over the page. And then the last, uh, the Dr. Ink pens, the new pixel pens, they're going to just add that little bit of refinement. two things and we keep everything sketchy because everything's forgiven in the sketch and every time we add a different width of line and I'm only just talking about my own these aren't hard and fast rules of anything they're just 
from my thousands of years of experience. And then all of these little refinements just make things. But what I don't want to do is refine and then get stuck in trying to be perfect. I want to, or looking like it's trying to be perfect because that I find a little bit debilitating. I want to just enjoy playing around with the refinement so that the refinement's still experimental. usually we think oh but those refining lines you know we've decided on everything by then and it's all um, all the decisions have been made and now these have to be perfect lines and well no no lines are perfect well some people's might be mine are not so I just want tools that allow me to just keep experimenting and feeling playful and enjoying every moment So we're adding, it's adding depth without really going too crazy with things, you know. Uh, these are some more little examples. And like I said, I, I'll do, I'll have to do a proper launch and do that a little bit. But I'm just, I, now that I'm showing you, I can't stop showing you. Also, we've got boobs here. Sorry about that. I shall cover up their nudities with some pens, there you go. Uh, so this again, oh, this girl is on one of the journals. There she is, overlaid with some other uh, colors. She's in on the window pane journal. And actually, to, to compare, you can see that it was just really, um, just brush strokes of ink, quite uh, loose and letting all the water coloring. This is the Creative Juice ink. Um, that's where she came from and testing it on this smooth operator paper. And then by adding in the pixel pens and these just lines, I'm not interfering with the flow of the watercolour. The watercolour can still speak. It's just I'm able to add a little bit more depth and detail. And uh, it's all very fun. Oh, Pam's painted with the Euphoria paints right this second. How lovely. So, yes. Uh, yes, do all of them fit in the small black cube? Yes, easily. And there'll be room there to add something else as well. We could just travel with that and just pull that out rather than <laughs> through a pencil case. But And the standy uppy pencil cases, oh, they're pretty cool, I guess. Um, these are going to be available um, probably when I head off to Japan. So just imminent. Sandra, imminent. Um, even if they're in the VIP section of the uh, website for the time being. I'm <laughs> uh, just having a look at, yes, that's why Zozzy was so excited. They know it's Poppy Circus Day. I'm sure they must have that, you know, they must have some sort of internal clock. Poppy's smart enough to do it for sure. Because Zozzy is the second baby, he and they're both so close in age, um, Zozzy can just cruise. Poppy, Poppy is the, the thinker, and Zozzy's just the little Zozzy monster. He's just, the, he's just so happy all the time. He doesn't have a care in the world because in his world, everything's perfect all the time, and he's just a happy little man. <gasps> oh, the sketchier the lines, the better. Now, there's something weird going on with her nose. What's going on here? Yeah, we'll work it out eventually. Hmm. And on this side, we've, I've got... I think this might be an ink in a Meet Your Marker. 
like uh, playing around with that on this paper. It looks quite um, streaky, the underneath layer, which you sort of think, ooh, no, but the streaks, watermarking, all of these imperfections can actually be really quite lovely. So it looks like, yes, meet your marker up there. Might be tan fastic, I'm thinking this colour, uh, which is what from the Creative Juice Filling Inspired set. And then I've just, I've never liked the little drawing that was there. And uh, th now I love it. Um, I've refined it with the little pixel pens because they're just so fine, even on a little face, just to get these little details and details in the hair. Uh, and then I've, a few more mermaids have joined, uh, joined her. Oh, don't flash your boobs. Gosh, we're all getting in trouble. Um... This is, oh, some gold paint and some other stuff. But how good is this quote? If you're going to imagine the worst case scenario, you may as well spend time imagining the best case scenario and the most likely. Why not? I thought that was rather wonderful. Um, this is the secret ingredients palette, which is what I was thinking of taking with it. That isn't. That's both, I've obviously, start off with. Mind you, it might have started off as that and then... Oh, might be the first version. I did have a different green in there, didn't I? Yes. Oh, maybe it's just mixing those two. I think that's why I decided I don't need the green. Just mix those two. I'm going to get my lime green, just bam, straight away. Um, this is a bit of eye eye. Let's see how it goes over the low coat. It's this, this very amazing nylon tip uh, works really well. If it's a thicker application, it's just going to get coated eventually with whatever, but you just wipe it off and it'll be fine. You can experiment. You may enjoy that, you may not. But by adding, and the dog drink is in the same boat, so it's just I've gone for that colour colour that I know. Let's add a little bit of this neon up here. It's going to look neon. It's actually not a neon ink, it, but it's going to look neon uh, just because of the colours. Because I've got that lime green. It's a complementary colours thing. So I'm adding depth with neon pink. You would just not think that is possible, but and yet, and yet, <laughs> It's how we do. Mm-hmm. And this sort of thing uh, is just a wonderful way to warm up. This is the kind of thing I can I can talk to someone and be fully engaged, in fact be more engaged. It might be annoying for the other person, but I've and I do it in my life drawing class. I used to have a note at school. I can't, I concentrate better when I'm drawing. I don't know what it is. Is anyone else like that? If I write it down, it, I, it's not even writing down what you're talking about, taking notes, it's I'm drawing. If I'm drawing, something about my brain opens up and I can just take in information so much better. Okay, so now that's my soft pink. Now where is my bright lime pink? Here we go. Did I just say lime pink? No, that's not what I meant. There's no such thing as lime pink. There should be. <laughs> I could leave her little lips as those little watercolour unrefined uh, lips as well. Or oh, I might even add a different pink. Um, but I don't want to, I want to add a little bit of detail. And then it just, the whole journal, I find if I flesh them out a little bit more, they become really juicy and more ideas start to happen on them. I'm adding new learning to my ideas that I've had before. This is just something that I've been enjoying lately, getting out 
my older journals and di just diving back into them a bit more and just just seeing what else is in there for me because sometimes I'm creating at such a pace um, and uh, I don't necessarily need to be creating on new paper I can just keep on not that that stops me from starting a new journal hello <laughs> but I, I sort of have an aim in the back of my mind I kind of fill that up It'll at least keep me busy on train journeys and uh, the plane you know while I'm traveling in transit so I've got useful time uh, I can even do that if I'm watching something that I've downloaded or that sort of thing. Oh, why don't I put in a little bit of my limey limeys and a little bit of yellow. I've got this limey green here, so I will make a limey pink. Just adding these little details. And there's 32 colours. Anyway, plus all my Dr. Inks. And this is a neon. Mm, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, the eyes are going to get real glassy and nice. So in amongst all of the flowing colours, and I'm introducing a little bit of the scritchy scratchy, the sketchercising, and it's just saying to me, I'm just adding depth, but also... Um, I like some detail and etc. Now I'm just going to have a quick little sorry I'm just seeing if I can change Just seems a bit overblown the colours. I was just trying to change it, but I can't. This is going to be nice to draw to create some little extra detail on. But I've got a new razor, so I haven't done any um, spray varnish through here. So I've got a little bit of crossover. So I just take that off, and then where's my unicorn? There she is. And eventually I'll spray it. How cute are the razors? <clears throat> and then the, this is going to be very cute too. Add some little details too. And the challenge is like I don't want to go into just normal colours of browns and beiges of what skin is. I can do my little details in whatever. And I just keep lifting. Just keep lifting my art up. And I'll go over just about everything. Of course, I'm only... Uh, testing for my own collection sometimes people ask me oh how do these compare to XYZ and I most often I might have a general idea but um, obviously I'm not testing them with you know other things I don't use other things <laughs> I just use 
small things. Stay with if I did anything else, right? Oh, I just think the extra little lines just, they just say, I don't know. They just say to me, here I am. I don't know what they say. They're talking to me as I'm doing them, that sort of thing, I think. I've got to go and check on the little dogs and see what they're doing at Puppy Circus because it's so cute. It's so cute, the Puppy Circus. And we're trying to teach... Zozzy just won't do the seesaw. Uh, he just he won't do it. He just can't. He gets scared halfway. And one day he'll do it. Poppy can do everything, of course. It's just he's a dog genius. <laughs> yeah, so a little imbalance is revealed like the uh, this is turning more than this is but by adding the sketching it's saying yeah yeah what ifs it's a bit imbalanced and obviously that's exactly the look I was going for this is the conversation I'm having with my brain okay because I'm not having, there's no one coming along and critiquing your journal, hopefully. And if they are, uh, <laughs> tell them to remove themselves and give it a go themselves before they come along. Thank you. First time I had my hair cut short when I've always had long mermaid hair and then I had a swimming competition at school and I thought I'm going to have my hair cut short so my mum cut it short and it flared out like a lampshade and that is how I felt but I wasn't a cool girl like that but Adding those little extra details, I don't know, just kind of just transforms things. It's this new journey that started with the sketch size. This does the same sort of thing. It's just this is shiny. It's just different. Um, so this girl here, like, let's have a little closer look, and then I'll go and I'll leave you. And I still haven't packed my bloomin' pencil case for. Um, Japan, but it, that's going to the audition process is a process, okay? <laughs> I'm just going to take this off while I'm here. So this is sometimes this can happen with uh, layer caking, especially where it's thicker, like here where I've applied lots of little. So you can get this cross transference that can happen with anything that does happen with this. But once you spray it with your um, matte varnish but I, don't, I tend to do it at the very end like really when a journal's finished 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 this isn't finished mm, we're getting close oh she needs pe pixel pens um, this I was playing around with pixel pens just before I do the other one so it's gone from like a flip past uh, this is Ruby my little niece was playing here this is her little dog down here um, Harvey and she was drawing some little faces and I was drawing along with her and this was, um, I'm just adding pen in here, incorporating what she's got and just turning it into a more delicious page. Um, here is some more very, very loose um, star power and watercolor. I might have done this on camera with you, I can't quite remember. And this is star power, look at that, bam. And then adding these little tiny details with the pens, the pixel pens. 
or Dr. Drink's going to do the same thing. It's not quite as fine because these are 0.4 mil one pixel by tip. <laughs> but the, um, and the Dr. Ink is a little bit thicker. I'll show you actually. I'll do a brown and a brown. Mm -hmm. Just got to find a page where I don't mind doing some scribbles. Here. So here we've got that's tan fastic and if I pick a similar colour you can just see that it's a finer line but doctoring's pretty fine but it's not as fine as the pixel but they're both fine and fast um, they've got that when you feel it it's that roll so if you've got the doctor ink and you're loving those this is it's giving you more colours but and finer lines. Oh, see, I just I could do this all day. This is the secret ingredients palette, which is the one I want to take with me. So it's this pinks and reds here, corals and reds, these skin tones, a little bit of this mixing those two to get this deeper turquoise. I'm just giving her a little bit more chin. And a little bit of this just sketchy kind of shading to say we're still in the fun zone we're not taking it seriously brain this is fun let's change color um, well, opposite turquoise is coral, so I might even keep up with that coral colour actually, but I'll do this one. We'll Toulouse Lautrec it, shall we? He often used complementary colours on either side of his subject. So I don't want to outline things, I just want to just refine them a little bit doesn't have to be perfect you know I'm taking lessons that I'm learning as I you know do my life sketching again and bringing that sort of into everything else I think she's lying down isn't she could add a little bit of this into the face here just oh this is a very soft gray let's put this under this little shadow under the eye because she's very uh, Doe-eyed, doe-eyed, no, doe-eyed's open-eyed, isn't it? Yes, no, this is more of a, a half, not a smize. What are we, we're talking just a little, I come hither, I come hither, oh, but I don't really think she, think she, you, she wants you to take a step closer. She's, she's giving you the cut-off motion here like that. I shall look at you come hitherly from over here and you shall stay over there. You can come come hither from a distance, thank you, sir. Yes. Beautiful but not approachable. I think that's the vibe she's giving. I'm forgetting to talk to you because I'm enjoying myself too much. Sorry about that. She can have a nostril. It's always nice to be able to breathe. 
always makes life very enjoyable. And one can one can breathe, feel the in and outtake of a little bit of oxygen. <laughs> And I might emphasize this with this darker color just just because I've dropped that little chin down a little bit and I can continue that on. I could grab my other color, but this might be close enough. Just to might have been a bit green, so I'll just come back over with a bit of this light blue. I might even add some of that into these eyes. And what are we doing here? What is she doing? She's sort of doing that. So if that arm's in front and that arm's like that, I haven't got... Okay, so she's just resting the... Oh, I need to do her hands a bit bigger, don't I? Something like that thumb is going to be on the other side of the hand. Not really going to be able to see it. But we'll, we'll see this and let's extend the fingers. Extension of the fingers. Even Leonardo da Vinci fussed about with hands, okay? So... <laughs> I tell myself that every time I draw hands um, because they're so gestural and there's a lot going on with them so it's not, not I don't want to avoid doing drawing them but uh, sometimes it takes a couple of tries to nail it okay <laughs> Well, I've had a lovely time with you. I've not done what I set out to do, but I will. She's not surprised. She's giving me that look. All right, love. No need to judge. You're not going to Japan, especially with that attitude. Yes, and if I just, so this hand here, that's going to be a little finger as well. And if I keep it sketchy and whatnot, if it's not perfect, it, I just have to get it to the point where it's not annoying, that's all, to me. Not to anyone else, just I'm only ever talking about my response to things. Uh, because I just, I love, you know, drawing and sketching and creating and I just want to keep it that way. Okay, well, I shall continue on this journey and if I decide to do um, a little bit more, oh, this has got pixel pens in it a little bit too. Oh, she needs them, poor thing. Oh, oh! This was the other night. Again, so I think this is from a little prompt from Jane Austen. I think I've got watercolor or ink in here. A little bit of um, paint over pens, maybe, and then pixel pens, bringing in a little bit of detail. A little bit of uh, just thinking of Jane Austen. I was thinking of her little house, but then they wouldn't have had flags, but now they do. So now it's a castle. So. <laughs> Just lots of fun, right? That's all we want. A bit of fun. How cute are those? Right. 
I'll have a last little look for questiones. And uh, see what I can help with. Um, I haven't done Alice in April prompts because I've got Japan. I'm all like, eh. So if, if um, I'll try and do something like that for you though, but I haven't done that. We have May coming up. May is Mermay. That's a big prompt month. So if you haven't finished all your mythical March prompts, get them, get, keep working on those or some of the, oh, I've put the list away. Um, from some of our other prompt months you can see them on my blog uh, or in my Facebook group and uh, plenty to get on with. Uh, there's 12 in each set of these new little pens so there's 36 colours. Um, yes, oh the skinny dips, how gorgeous are they? The skinny dips and the Dr Ink. Mm. She has kids. Yeah, she's doing the bedroom eyes, exactly, Erin. That's what she was doing. Uh, yes, the ink is water reactive, but because we're talking just the way that pens work, they're not, it's not like adding, and on this paper, I'm working on a smooth paper and it grabs. Uh, but I'll show you. So this was uh, last night, so it will soften off. Oh, wait a minute, do I have, no, no, that's okay. So you can see that it's softening the colour. Do I have gesso under there? That will accentuate the uh, look, but if that's layer cake under there, that's water reactor, so that might react too. But I think it might just be pen, it might be acrylic ink underneath it, um, which will mean the water reactivity will be enhanced a little bit actually. It looks absorbent, so I think it might be layer cake, so that might re react as well. But you can see how this is softening off, but we're not getting. I don't touch it and it turns into a swathe of watercolour. It can't because the ink, this pen is 0.4 um, of a dot, a pixel pen. It's a tiny little dot jewel. So it, it's a little tiny amount of ink that I'm putting down. So it can't turn into more than it is. That's all I'm saying. It's not one all <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, they're nude. Okay, sorry. Nudities. Nudities! Cover yourselves, ladies. Um, yes, mermaid. <laughs> yes, so there's Mythical March to work on face, you worry. There's been lots of prompt months this week, uh, this year. Um, and if, maybe if you catch up with those, or you can have a look at the April prompts for last year. Did we have Alice in April last year? I can't remember. Um, and then, yes, Mermaid. Mermaid. Uh, Penny says, I've noticed your increase in hatching. Yes. It's just, that's the, started with the sketch size and realising that pencil, that fine fine, fine, fine business on top of free-flowing just tickles my soul to its very inches, the edges rather, just, uh, um, yes. And then this is just a continuation of that uh, journey. I just think it really, they're very, very helpful, as well as being just lovely little sketching tools, like you can see here. They've been used on this girl as a refinement, and they're here as an uh, in, as a um, starting something off. So then I might add watercolour on top of this, and then continue on with um, adding some more pixel pens, Dr. Ink, uh, or whatever. But the combining, sort of like using that, the pencil is the other fine thing as well, the coloured pencils, but they work in just such a different way. Pencils are more lyrical, I find in my hand, they just, they, they work in a different, they've got a different energy, a different vibe. They're a flowy thing. 
and of course they're thicker. Whereas the fine pens, the Dr. Ink, the finishing line pens, the new pixel pens, um, I suppose in the fountain pens, all of those, that, the fineness of things, the sketch size pencil, they're just, it's a different type of sketchiness. It's just a different, again, it's just a different energy. It's a different energy that comes out just in the way you hold them. Everything, every time you change something, be it the paper, the tool, whatever, it's going to change the way you actually move your, physically move your hand. So it's going to change. It's just going to give fresh energy to whatever it is that you're working on. And I love that. <laughs> um, oh, did the top fall off? Sorry. Um, well, it's just the rules. I know it's just the rules of social media. Is because some people are. I mean, we all have them. Every just about every mammal on earth has them nipples. It's just for some reason they're when they're shown or with people, just because some people can't behave themselves so we all have to live by these rules no matter how silly we see the rules are um, YouTube's not mine so to stay on platforms like Facebook Instagram da 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 in order to make people safe there are some changes oh there's Angus um, okay well thank you so much for uh, drawing yes drawing for I was drawing for joining me and I shall see you oh, next time I sit down and try and make a decision about what I'm taking I still can't decide hello you're on the camera <laughs> bye think, everyone um, lead. oh Poppy's lead oh they're all down at the bottom of the stairs I'll, I'll come up bye <laughs> oh well I'll have to release the